Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to secure phpMyAdmin using HT Access. So the reason I want to do this is because if a hacker ever tries to target your website, one of the most common things they always do is they go to this URL and they start trying to guess your phpMyAdmin password. Now if they can guess it, then they have access to your database, all the user data, and clearly not a good thing not something you want to happen so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be setting up a gateway through HT access and what this is gonna do is whenever the user or a hacker tries to access this page unless they know the password to get through that gateway they aren't even gonna be able to see this form right here so they can't even try to guess your password it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and get started so open up putty and what we have to do first is we have to say, hey, PHP my admin, you have to allow HT Access the ability to override the default settings. So sudo nano apache2 conf minus enabled, and it's php my admin configuration file dot conf. So hit enter. And all right, so right here in this little directory tag, right under directory index index.php, we're going to add one simple line, and that is let me make it a little bit cleaner. Allow override. Does override have one R or two? I think two. Let's hope so. So allow override all. So now you're giving PHP my admin. You're saying, okay, we allow HT access to override default settings for your setup. So that's all we have to do. Like I said, one simple line of code, control X, Y, enter, and boom, there we go. So in order for these changes to take into effect, sudo service Apache 2 restart. All right. So we made some changes. We said, hey, PHP, my admin, allow for us to make this file, which we're going to make in just a second. And we restarted Apache. So now we have to actually create that HT access file to say this is what we're trying to set up. Now, for that file, you want to create it at sudo nano usr share, since it's going to be shared among every user, PHP, my admin, dot HT access. So this is the file where we're going to be writing all of the HT access rules, whatever we want it to do. Now I'm just going to set up really basic authentication and from a user's point of view, what this means is that whenever they go to this URL right here, instead of just seeing this login form, they're going to have a little pop up that appears and that's the HT access gateway. Now, unless we know the password to that, then this isn't going to even show. Now, since we're going to be setting up the password and we're the system administrator, we obviously know it. So we're going to hit enter and then we're going to have access to this. Sounds confusing, but it's actually incredibly easy. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's the real basic. So auth type, basic, auth name, restricted files, auth user file. All right. So you know how I said we're essentially going to have another login before you can get to PHP my admin. Well, we need to set that login information somewhere, the users and their passwords. So we're actually going to be sticking that not in this file, but another password file. So etc php my admin dot ht password, but you leave a couple letters out. So the last line you need in this, which is remember the overall rules is require valid user. So now we set the main rules. The only other thing we have to do is we need to set up our passwords for that HT access gateway. So let me save this control X, Y, enter. And we need to download one more package in order to use the auth user file directive that we just wrote because it doesn't come with a core Apache two package. So sudo apt-get install apache2 minus utils dun, 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 dun. there we go let me clear this and let's go ahead and create that file now so sudo 
CTC. My admin. HT password, and I'm going to set this for Bucky. So this, again, is the password file for the credentials. Hit enter, and what's the password? And remember, this isn't for PHP my admin login. This is for the HT access gateway that we're going to see. So enter whatever password you want. And there you go. So now, if we go back to our websites, check it out. I'm going to hit refresh. Instead of just having access to this main PHP in my admin form, I'm going to have to type those credentials that we just set up. Now remember right, if I still have it, whenever we added this password, it was for the user Bucky. So, pop that back up. So the username is Bucky, and the password is whatever password that you used. So now I'm going to log in. Do I want to save that? Nope. And now I have access to PHP my admin, which a hacker would not get. So now we can just log in as usual. So boom, check it out. So it's essentially just another step, another precaution that you can take to defend off hackers. So there you go. Now you understand how to use it, why it's useful. And yeah, see you guys next video.